Hi everyone, it's Artis from Carpentry. In today's video we're gonna tile the roof. I have set out slightly uh, the tiles. So I want to show you how you can set it out for your needs. So basically you first layer for tiles are called Eve tiles. They're the short ones. And what that does, that um, lap makes the lap so the joints don't meet so every joint is covered like so that's how it would look on the roof so to do that you're gonna need three buttons to start off one which will kick your tiles uh, second which takes the first row so eve tiles and the third row of tiles is to cover the um, eve tile so usually you you'd sort of set it out so it's flush with the bottom of the eave tiles. And then fourth row, you set it out depending on how you want your lap to be. Um, if you need obviously matching something, then you, you can measure, like in my case, I measured the existing, so I can match the lap. Um, but yeah, generally, you want you want to be more than halfway over the tile so the wind and stuff can't get underneath it um especially if you're in a windy area um so yeah that's as you can see here these 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 are reclaimed tiles you can see the line here that line represents where the tile used to sit so which is usually uh, about ten and a half centimeters or hundred five mil. Um, this actually, this is ninety actually from. So this is ninety from top, um, from top to bottom. But in our case, it was ten and a half. So yeah, as I was saying, you. So you got four top four um buttons to set out first one will be have to be higher than or thicker than the uh, other ones you have because to give that kick if you don't have a kick i'll show you what happens so if you don't have a kick then it creates the gap and potentially as you can see and potentially it could lead to wind you know getting under so hence why you want first one like so and then what it will do that means the tiles actually touch so less likely it would you know get under it and also gives the angle which the big tiles will create once they've been laid out so um so yeah as i said i have started a little bit uh, on there i use to start with a lead flashings couple reason being is because obviously that is the alley flashes they're too shiny but once i get under the or above the area where the wall uh wall is tiled i will carry on in the um alley flashings because no one's going to see them um so yeah, basically that's that. Um, it's quite simple. Uh, in most cases, you're gonna have to probably copy unless you're redoing a roof, uh, but then it wouldn't matter. But in my case, I copied what I had there. My measurement was from 105 to uh, 111 to double one to 110 mil, sorry. Um, so yeah. Um, here, these reclaimed tiles were 90 spaced apart. The uh, rows for the normal size tiles. And also when you do your, when you start tiling, you always start from the, say in my case, this is gable end. I start from gable end. Also, you will need uh, to have tiles and a half because every row, if you don't do it, 
what will happen so what that does I'm sorry. so tile and a half deals with deals with um, going across and on a half tile it's kind of self explanted so you maintain that lap halfway and you will need that to finish the roof so every every other row gonna have to have tile and a half um, and yeah always start from the end gable end or you know the finish of the roof because you can make cuts into the wall or into the you know um, because yeah usually you can have either flashing or tile hung or whatever uh, and you not gonna notice those cuts there as you would there so it'll look a lot, lot nicer and then also you you can have consistency um, on your roof where if you start cutting a you're gonna have cut edge and B it's just gonna be noticeable so always start from gable end or from the end of the roof either it's a gable or, or like pitch like that because uh, so yeah um, well on a pitch roof actually it won't matter so much because you're gonna have cuts um, but if it's a gable then it would matter like here for instance so so yeah, I hope you can enjoy it and i catch up with you in a bit. One side stalled. I'll show you how it will look. Also, don't forget about security. Tie off your ladder if you've got no scaffold, etc. So, stall this side. As you can see, you need to put flashing on, on or oh, under every tile. And so, I'll show you here how that looks. So you've got a button, and you just put it like down the bottom of the button uh, I'll show you so imagine this is your next row so you put your flashing nice up if, if possible tuck it behind, behind the um, button what that will let you do it will make it easier for you to hang these tiles because you know you because you're gonna have to uh, obviously start going in back onto the roof and you know it might work out that you got no no um no way to um to put a tile in um so so yeah but apart from that that's basically you put it there tack it with the nail with the small clout nail onto the button and then once you've got a tile, take your tile 
and that will that will hook on and you can nail it and then just repeat the process so another another I'll show you another one so you put it like so imagine that's your button for our next button and keep going until you reach the top and in the top you're gonna have to make a lead flashing dress the lead around both ways so the ridge is covered and then the ridge tile obviously will take care of everything else um, so it never should leak so yeah so basically that's that's that and um, I'm not gonna be videoing this side because that's basically repeating the process uh, only thing I would suggest on the bottom part on the bottom here where um, you'll be able to see yours led to form the flashing come on you was led to form the flashing reason being because that is too shiny and it'll be you know right in your face so with the lead um it'll be sort of more discreet and also leave overhang enough for your gutter when you feed the gutter so the water any water will get in there instead of running on the wall you can direct it into the gutter so um yeah so basically that's that um obviously i got to tile this but it's a similar process just put tiles on scribe it and just keep going up until it reach the top uh so i'll i'll make a video when it's all done but i won't film all the process just to make it shorter for you so you don't have to watch it for hours uh, i hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch up with you in the next video hi everyone just a catch up video so I've done this side, I've cut the dolma cheek in, into the roof, all the tiles are done, so I just wanted to show you how I got the angle, um, which I think is the easiest way. So, you can see here I got the bevel, so what I do, I put bevel against the tiles, and the, the hung, wall hung tiles and then go to the tip of the roof tiles I need to cut into and I take that line and follow it through so I do it on every cut make sure that it follows through the same way because uh, obviously these buttons might not be level so or parallel so you might have to check if they're not then obviously the angle slightly change so I'll show how I dressed in the top ridge as low as flashing or soaker sorry i've done that in lead so i've gone behind the button so if anything ever gets in there if any water gets in there it goes in and down trickles down and follows the route to get to the gutter so that should be safe and here if if uh, anything gets in there first of all we're gonna have ridge and secondly the felt is folded down and i've nailed into the rafters so with the batten so you know that should be sealed so if anything goes there because also we've got our uh, felt tray it will trickle down and come out of the top of the tra felt tray because the first is felt tray then our felt goes over the tray so any condensation anything like that will trickle out um, bottom into the gutter so uh, yeah so I'm not gonna be filming this part because you know it's just a lot of cuts and probably you'll find it boring but for, I'll show you what sort of you can get by doing so what sort of finish and then yeah then we're gonna have to plug the um, plug on the uh, ridge tiles and obviously the front uh, and yeah, so then this will be done. Oh, so we're gonna be doing a uh, 
tidying up in the bottom on the side to show you also don't forget about your security tie your ladder on because if you were going to do it without tying it on the side you probably would fall so just tie it so it's safe yeah here we we're going to take that tar fort away probably the felt batten it and uh feather edge so that will be the last job i'll get it all all this pug pug work done finished tile so hopefully i'm finishing tiles and start pug work today and uh, that's the plan but we'll see how it goes so i hope you enjoyed it and i catch you in the next video hi everyone just a catch-up video really so all is done now um cement obviously cement ridges down pipes gutters um so just tidying up now also we've done a bit of ship lap oh not ship lap sorry feather edge um on a bag there in the triangle so i've uh, refelted rebattened that so down pipes on both sides so yeah as i um showed you that we left it all open so that's why i used black felt so it's not so noticeable and yeah so i uh, hope you enjoyed this sort of job and i catch up with you in the next video